For today, I like to keep it like super simple. Right. And I'll talk about employing the five senses for brain health. And so if you think about energy, everything is energy. Yeah. And that means everything vibrates. And like tuning into the radio frequency, mm -hmm. we can also tune into frequencies for well-being. So if we think about what we eat, and it's important to eat high vibrational frequency foods, like fruits and yeah, vegetables. Yeah. So that helps us tune into frequencies of well-being. Listening to music. Yeah. There's a lot of sound healing music, yeah. including sophagio frequencies, binaural beats, and you can pretty much find a sound healing music for any condition. Mm -hmm. More than 70% of your body is water. Right. And the music that you're listening to has an effect on the water in your body. Mm -hmm. And so when you're listening to the ocean waves, that is actually quite healing. There's a natural vibrational frequency there. Right. And your body is tuning into it. Right. Speaking of the brain, yes. um, what are some other things that one can do that you work with your clients on to help improve brain health? Like you say music, uh, going out to nature, going to the ocean foods, uh, what are some, there's like a myriad of things we can do that we can actually implement right now today, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So along the lines of the five senses, you know, we've touched upon hearing, we've touched upon the tasting, and so now let's think also about um, sight, right? So absolutely, nature, that's a beautiful sight. And that also calms our senses. Another thing we can do, if we can't engage with nature, we can imagine that we are engaging with Mother Earth. We can also visualize the violet flame. So the violet flame is a very high vibrational frequency and energy. And it's protected by Holy Saint Germain. And when one invokes the violet flame, one can actually transmute negative energies to positive energies. Mm -hmm. And speaking from firsthand experience, it can bring profound peace and gratitude. Wow. And so that's another visualization technique that one can employ. Also with respect to smell. So high vibrational frequency smells like roses mm -hmm. or other flowers, that will also increase one's vibrational frequency level. When you learn something new and you discover something about yourself, whether you like it or not, right. what you're doing in the process is building up cognitive reserve. And what that means is that if you were to have like a head injury, your ability to recover mm. is much faster because you've already trained your brain to learn and to recover quickly. Yeah.